According to the Department of Energy, heat loss through our attic attributes to 70% of our heat loss. The challenge in is to keep the heat out in the summer and the heat in during the winter. Well, certainly the cost of energy has many of us looking for ways to save energy, save money. Joining us again is Gene Mabry. And, and Gene, let's talk about the energy doctor and what is happening here in a, and we'll explain in a moment what's going on right in front of us, but the whole concept of how you got involved with this product. Well, it, it's kind of strange. I was getting ready to retire from uh, other um, entrepreneurial endeavors and uh, needed something for my own home. I, I have a, an upstairs master bedroom that was very cold in the winter and very warm in the summer. So did some research and then actually found this product at um, a home and improvement show. Decided to have it installed in my home and found that it worked instantly. The problem was that there was no distributors in the Twin Cities area, in fact, very few in the whole state. So I actually had to go to Ankeny, Iowa to find installers to come and install this product in my home. Um, I got very excited about it. The very next day, I had it installed on December 1st. On December 2nd, my bedroom was warmer. Well, let's talk a little bit about how it works and why it works, because I could see people already skeptic, skeptics going, well, I can't really do a whole lot to help my house or help my energy bill, but explain, Gene, how it works and, and really how it can be beneficial, not only in the summer months, but in the winter months here in Minnesota. Absolutely. Um, energy Guard is a, an aluminum-based product. It has polymer threads running through it and thousands of perforations. The threads are for strength. The aluminous, aluminum is for reflectivity. And the perforations are because we never want to cause a vapor barrier in your attic. We always want the attic to breathe and never hold in any moisture. What this product does uh, when installed loosely over your existing insulation, we are not involved in adding insulation or we don't tell you what the R factor needs to be in your insulation. This is lightly laid as a blanket over top of your existing insulation. Mm -hmm. When the heat comes in in the summer, can I do this? Sure, please. Um, what happens is these are heat lamps. Obviously, right. there's no light in your attic, but there is heat. And these heat lamps are representing what happens to insulation. We've put a small amount of insulation in each side and a probe in each side. And what's happening here is the heat is being absorbed in this side, as right. it would in your attic. Heat comes in through your shingles, through the boards, into your attic, absorbed by your insulation. Now, that stays warm until the wee hours of the morning. That's before. why the air conditioner is running all night long when Correct. it's cool outside. Exactly. So it takes a long time for that to dissipate out. The, the insulation is actually doing its job. That's what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The problem is that when that is really warm, it's like having an electric blanket over your ceiling in your house in the summer. Your air conditioning is working very, very hard trying to cool your house, but you have this huge blanket of insulation, warm insulation, and so it has to work so much harder, and that's where the energy comes in. It takes so much more energy than it really needs to. So what this product does is stop your insulation from becoming warm, therefore stopping your house from becoming warm. So now the heat comes in, and it's reflected. This is a 97% reflective product. It's reflected back up. Insulation stays cool, house stays cool, air conditioning doesn't work as hard. It's really a very, very simple concept. We should mention these lamps have been on for a while and this one is still at 79 degrees, which is it was when you turned it on, what, 10, 15 minutes ago? Right. And this one now without, is, a, is at 120. And if we kept it on for a while, it would go into one, one, 140s, you were saying? Right, actually this, this thermostat here Z's out at about 150. So it, oh, yeah. it's been that high and it just won't go any higher. So, and yeah. then this, I don't think has ever been over, you know, uh, depending on how long it runs, I don't think it's ever seen more than 79 with the product. And we can change sides and sure. it works. Well, it does the same thing in the winter. It reflects only in the reverse and that's why it's double-sided. So it's exactly the same on both sides. So now your heat is working in your house. The heat seeps up through your ceiling mm -hmm. and is absorbed by your insulation. Again, it's doing its job. The problem is it can only absorb so much and the rest dissipates up into your attic. What this does is it reflects it back down. And that's why in my case, when I had that bedroom that was the farthest room away in the house from the furnace, the furnace was never able to get enough heat up there. 
And so now what was happening is it would, it would, the heat would rise, hit this, and come back and keep those bedrooms warm. It's a great product, and it's probably a lot more inexpensive than people are, could even imagine. I know you hear that all the time. And, right. and even at energy prices, which are continuing to escalate, you could find this product pay for itself in what, four years, six years maybe at the most? The industry standard for adding solar or energy efficient products is a minimum of six. And in the more expensive products like geothermal, it would be 10. Uh, we're finding our averages between four and six. You may have noticed also there's a solar fan gene that's involved with this. How does that work in conjunction with this product? Well, once the warm air is reflected off the energy guard um, space blanket, what we want to do is have that hot air removed from your attic so that it's even more effective. We install everything. We install the product and the fan. The, the solar fan pulls the warm air out and then the passive vents that you have work better because they replace that air. You get circulation, removing the warm air in the summer and it works in the winter as well as long as the sun's shining or there's light, it's working and it pulls that damp air out in the winter and keeps your attic drier. It means that your shingles last longer. And it's, again, with all seasons, it's a great product. We encourage people to find out more. Contact Gene, see how this product could work for you. Again, we talked about the energy, how it can help you save energy, pay for itself in four to six years, and maybe even earlier than that if energy prices keep going up. That's it's true. a great product, Gene. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.